Hello everyone, it is Susie and it is time to do another page in the uh, November playbook. And so what I want to do in this one is I'm going to work on the word snow. That is the one that I kind of want to want to do this go round. So we're going to get that crossed out there. And what I decided to do for snow is I thought it would be fun to um, do one of the Tim Holtz uh, paper dolls. I love these um, Christmas paper dolls or the winter ones. And so what I'm going to be doing is maybe just some little collaging here. And um, let's see, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to maybe go now this was last this was um november 1st this was our first um word prompt pages here which was um tree and i think i'm going to go in my second signature for this one let's see i think yep i think maybe here this looks like a good a good spot so I'm just gonna kind of get me something to hold my hold my other pages down a little bit and let's see I thought I had another clip here somewhere Let me grab another one and we will clip this page down okay so I also have for snow is some little textured snowflakes and I will show you um, how to do these at the end of the video. So let's get, um, get this page down and then we will play a little bit there. And I will show you what I use to make these. These are textured and they're standing up. They're a textured paste. So what I want to do is just start making a little bit of a collage here. I know I want to use that and kind of I've got my pieces kind of set out here I don't think I'm going to use that I just grab some random pieces in my little um, stash there that I have of torn bits this I thought would be kind of fun to maybe have just part of that snow showing Christmas snow and then maybe put my little little guy in there and then I have kind of this little hole here so I dug out the, um, the these little Christmas um, words from uh, Tim Holtz I've had those for a little while now a couple years probably I bought several when they first came out so so that I would have some usually that stuff runs out and you can't you can't get it anymore especially if he discontinues it so I bought several of those so I would have have some on hand for for a couple of years there for several years okay so I'm just gonna stick down my collage paper there and um, I think I was gonna put that there I'm gonna kind of lay this back out a little bit to make sure I get it kind of where I wanted it there yeah so let's get this stuck down I hope everybody's having a good good day um, hopefully it's a crafty one all right so there's that and I kind of want to get this stuck down And I kind of grabbed out instead of the fine tip, I've just um, got this one, the Bluebell bottle, or not Bluebell, what is that called? Um, it's something bell, Sugar Bell. Yeah, there's Sugar Bell. And you can get those on Amazon. Um, you can also buy them at Michael's. The little, uh, you'll find them in the pastry, in the baking section. And uh, they're actually pretty handy to have. I have Fabri-Tac I have in one of them that I use sometimes and then I got the um, 
reptile glue that I put in this one. So, okay, so this was going to kind of frame out that snow. And I did stitch around. Oh, looky, yeah, I can fill that up a little bit. Ah, oh, well, that even looks better. I think that's what I'll do. Just kind of put him and fill him up right there. That worked out better anyway than what I had planned. Okay, I'm going to get them stuck down a little bit so they're just, just stuck for me. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of lift up and glue underneath. Okay. All right. So there is that. And then this little guy is going to go right here. And I love that. And I love the snow. So that's fun. Get him kind of all glued around here. Yeah, and just fill him in that little, little hole there. That'll work great. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay, so but I am still going to use um, a few of these words. Let's see. I have this, or I have the Merry Christmas. I guess this just is just Merry Christmas. Let's see if it says anything more. Um, yeah, this is just Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. So, all right. So I want to use this. Um, I think what I'll do is put believe. I think believe is what I want. So let's just snip that off. Okay, got them kind of crooked there on the ends. So, all right. And maybe I just want the believe to kind of go, go right there. Hmm, or do I want it up here? I may want that there. Yeah, I think that's kind of where I want it. Okay. All right, so we're just going to put the, the believe kind of, Kind of there. I want it straight, a little bit straighter though, than what I have it. Okay, so there's our believe, and I do think that I have some age tape here. Okay, so and I always just keep some made up on some wax paper or parchment paper there. Okay, let's see. And I think I'm going to go like that. Yeah, I'm just going to go like that. All right. I like uh, that. looks good enough for me. So there is kind of our our page for this, for this go-round. And I think I might just go ahead and add a little piece right there just to bring it together. Okay, so there is our next page with using the word prompt snow and I like that real well I love the Tim Holtz paper doll so I wanted to show you this textured um, um, thing and how to do that so let me get this surface cleaned off and I'll get my stuff laid out for you. Okay, so I got everything laid out here that I need I was going to show you these couple of stencils now I just recently purchased these these of course are the Tim Holtz and uh, I bought the little trees and the snowflakes and like the little pine cones and and then I bought this one as well with the poinsettias and the holly and uh, anyway so I bought a couple uh, of uh, those stencils there just for Christmas and so what I thought I think I'm going to use the little pine cones and and uh, yeah I think that's what I'm going to use so what I bought is I bought the Ranger uh, textured paste. So it's it's just like a chalky a chalky paste is what it is. And I've had one of these palette knives for a long time. I think that's what they call those. 
Um, I've had one of them for a really long time. And what I think I'm going to do is just get part of this. Um, and what I do is I just grab a little bit. I don't think you need a whole lot. Just grab a little bit on that palette knife. Now I just hold my stencil. I don't tape it down. And just a, really a little goes a long way. You don't have to you just kind of scrape it off and then run it across your a lot of times you just kind of scrape it off the plastic where it's gotten kind of thick there we go and I just run it like that and then what I do is just peel it up and there is your little textured your little textured um, and it I mean I don't know if you can see but it 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 stands up quite a bit I mean you know it's popped up and I'm not sure that it shows there but anyway just fun this is really fun I was I've been playing around a lot with some of the spray inks and different things uh, one of my favorites to watch, and um, I played with some of her techniques in the uh, fall journal that I just made not uh, last month. But, and I hope I pronounced her right. It's Shinuki Art or something like that. And I absolutely just love um, her techniques, but I saw her using the little stencils like that and putting the little textured paste and things on there. So anyway, guys, it's that simple. You know, if I'd have wanted to cover the whole thing, I would have just you know, put this on. But what I'll end up doing is maybe making a booklet out of this, um, you know, and putting some kind of collage or something on that. So anyway, that that is how I played with the, the little snow is using this um, matte textured paste and just a little stencil. So anyway, guys, um, that is that is it. And I will get to thinking on what my next word prompt will be. Uh, for next week. Hopefully I can get two videos up. If not, I will see you with one next weekend. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.